good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod AM Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing something a little bit differently. Now, I've thought about this for a while. Me and my boy on Stable 1047, Christian, were talking the other day on the phone, and we were talking about this, man. We were talking about WWE figures that needed to be released, and that hit me in the skull, and I was like, bro, we need to do a video on this because I absolutely have so many figures, or, you know, not so many, but there are some figures that I think that we definitely should get re-released. You know, there's some figures that, you know, they skyrocket in price or that you can't really find anymore or that you know scalpers are just jacking those prices up man and you know that's a free market i understand it you know i'm not gonna condemn them i am gonna you know it, it does uh, upset me a little bit if i'm looking for a specific figure and the only place i can find it is when somebody out in california or somewhere across the world that gets the figures first and they just buy up like the whole entire store just to resell it's like god man can, can, can you just stop doing that please but again it's a free country it's a free market man do whatever i'm just saying it is it hurts my feelings a little bit but anyways guys let's dive in you know we've seen it before we've seen it in the past we got it with the entrance greats jeff hardy originally the elite uh, elite one you know the elite one jeff hardy the elite one jeff hardy the coveted prize of elite one jeff hardy they re-released that once that was canceled and you know very hard to find very rare to find they re-released it as the entrance greats jeff hardy later on or a little bit before that i can't remember i think a little bit further down the line we got the elite 12 kane and then it was re-released that used to be a big time rare figure. Very big asset to people's collections. People wanted that figure so dang on bad. And then we ended up getting a re-release of it as a Target exclusive Elite. The Elite 12 Kane ended up being in the Hall of Champions set for a Target exclusive. We've seen it before with the Elite 18 Undertaker. The Dead Man Inc. The American Badass Undertaker. We got the Elite 55. Slightly different pants but we did. It's pretty much the exact same figure without the Dead Man Inc. on the side and it does have Big Evil on it. We've seen it with the Ringside exclusive Kane. The uh, You guys remember with the chains or whatever, the 2002 era Kane that we are going to be getting a re-release of pretty much in the Decade of Dominance line that is coming later this year. The Elite 15 Rey Mysterio in the purple and yellow attire was re-released as a Target exclusive in the Network Spotlight series as that blue and yellow, which is pretty much the exact same figure except repainted. We've seen it with the Elite 16 Diesel in the same Network Spotlight series from Target exclusive. And then another one that comes to mind is the Elite 23 Undertaker that was released for the Lost Legends series that was weird. They just kind of released this random legend series out at Toys R Us. You guys remember it had Kamala and HBK and Chris Jericho and Undertaker in it. That was a re-release of the Elite 23 Undertaker. So we have seen these things in the past and it just had me thinking, you know, what are some other guys that we could get? You know, some figures that need to be released that maybe they're too hard to find nowadays or they're really, really rare. Now I will say that it really devalues figures when you do get re-releases, but I don't think that it's necessary to re-release all of them. But I think that in some cases, we could see it and uh, for specific reasons I've went ahead and created our own list and um, these aren't that crazy you know it's not like specific instances where you know I, I want to make all the aftermarket figures just go down the drain like I think that it's very cool to have figures that are rare I think it's very awesome to have specific you know grails in people's collections because I think that's what makes collecting so fun is when you you know you find that grail that you know that everybody's searching for out in the wild or at a random thrift store or at a flea market or or something like that. I think that's excellent. And you know, you save up for a long time. You finally find that Holy Grail on eBay or something. You purchase it and you add it to your collection. How crappy is it that you own that and then they re-release the same figure and it hurts the value? I understand that. And uh, I, I don't want to completely, you know, crap on every single old figure that's rare nowadays. So I'm not going to just dive into that. But let's get into my list personally, guys. Let's start things off with an Elite 3 or Defining Moments Shawn Michaels. Now, you guys remember the Elite 3 Shawn Michaels? It was the first Shawn Michaels that we ever gotten, and it's uh, it was a pretty great one. You know, it had the long pants. We have not really gotten these unless it was the WrestleMania defining moments that I'm talking about here. So you have either one would honestly be great for me because I like both of them a lot. I think I would choose the defining moments, the WrestleMania 25 figure over the Elite 3, but the Elite 3 pretty much the head sculpt looked like a lot like Abe Lincoln. It was kind of weird. Um, it's actually the base that I use for my Abe Lincoln custom that BEW made me because it looks so much like Abe Lincoln that it's kind of funny. But uh, we, we've seen this with the Elite 7, right? We got the Elite 7 HBK, and then later on we got the Walgreens exclusive DX Sean, which wasn't the exact same, obviously. It wasn't the exact same. It didn't have the camo. It didn't have the glow sticks. It didn't have the jersey. It didn't have everything, but it was a DX Shawn Michaels in long pants. So uh, relatively, it was a re-release. So I think they should do the same thing with the Defining Mark moments uh Shawn Michaels and I think that would be a really awesome re-release that white coat was so badass 
and that is a figure that I would like to see re-released. Another guy that I would like to see re-released is the Elite Four John Morrison. Now, this is a figure that a lot of people love. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite Mattel figures ever. I think from head to toe, the figure is pretty much perfect. I love the fur coat of it. I think that's where all the money is made. There was a variant of it. There was like a red coat, like a dark maroon like I have, and then they had like a bright orange type coat, and this figure should be re-released. You know, I think that if even if you re-release it, but you just change up the colors on the figure, I think that would work. I really would love to see a black and white attire or a white and black attire just based in white with black details, a little bit of chrome in there, a little bit of silver, and then give us a white coat. I think that would be, oh man, I would just love that, man. That would that would absolutely be beautiful, and I think this would fit perfectly because John Morrison is back in WWE, so I think that it is kind of inevitable that we will get a John Morrison. I guess it's just going to be is it going to come with a bitchin' fur coat, or is it just going to be a re-release of what we got with Elite Four, or is it going to be a brand new John Morrison with new tooling and new jacket and all kinds of new stuff, but I really want to see a re-release or a brand new John Morrison figure. That would be freaking beautiful. Another guy that I want to see, guys, is the Elite Eight William Regal. I think this figure is pretty rare, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the Elite Eight William Regal, but I think that William Regal himself would be a cool figure. You know, we got the Elite 45, which was a really great figure. I like that figure a lot, but the Elite Eight William Regal, besides the Elite 45, we've only gotten two Elite William Regals, and I think a basic of his got canceled for some reason, so I'm not exactly sure. He's still the general manager of NXT, and I think that, you know, he plays his role perfectly. I've always been a huge advocate for William Regal, and we need an Elite of William Regal, man. And it's kind of weird because I keep this next guy in the same set. Elite 8 Drew McIntyre would be a beautiful re-release right now because Drew McIntyre is the WWE Champion, right? I think he would fit perfectly for a re-release spot if we were going to re-release figures. A throwback Drew McIntyre would be really, really cool. And maybe you could do like a, I don't know if this would work, but maybe like a prophecy set where, you know, it was like uh, then and now. I guess like a Thin Now Forever series would be pretty cool. And he could come with the WWE and Intercontinental Championship. That'd be pretty badass. Maybe uh, do a true effects version of that old school Drew McIntyre head sculpt that we got with the Elite Eight or something. I think that'd be pretty badassery. But uh, that would be really cool to see a re-release of an old Drew McIntyre. McIntyre, and that's totally possible, obviously, because he, he's the current champion, so why can't we get new figures of that guy right there? Another guy that I think that it is pretty much inevitable, I'm sure we're going to be getting a brand new Elite of him, but I think we should get a throwback figure of him. A re-release of Elite 13 Edge would be a really sweet re-release, just because he's back in the company now, we can make his figures and stuff. I don't think they ever... Did they ever stop making his figures? Because I think he's always had like a, a merch deal because he was a, you know, we got the Hall of Fame Elite. I know we're getting the ringside exclusive, but that was revealed after he re-signed. I don't know all the details of it, but I think the Elite 13 Edge, that's a pretty rare one. I think it goes for $40 or $50 loose, and that would be a really cool one. I think even Mock, it goes for even higher than that. But I think that the Elite 13 Edge would be beautiful. We've seen this head sculpt multiple times. Maybe they could give us a new head sculpt or maybe change up the colors even would be pretty cool. But a uh, Edge and Christian Tag Team Edge is what we really need re-released because uh, that one's so hard to track down. And the only thing we've ever gotten of him is another basic. And then that SummerSlam Edge, that was not quite Tag Team Edge. So I think the Elite 13 Edge is another beautiful one. Uh, our second to last one here, guys, we have the Elite 16 Edge. Kevin Nash figure, and this one right here is one that's beautiful. Again, we've covered before that the Elite 16 Diesel was re-released in the Network Spotlight Target exclusive line, and I know it was a slight variation of that figure, but I think that uh, the Elite 16 Kevin Nash is one that we need, you know, the Outsiders version of Kevin Nash. We've gotten many, I feel like we'd never get, you know, Kevin Nash figures. We've only gotten one. We've seen Diesel before, but we need to get a Kevin Nash re-released, and that would go perfectly with an Outsiders figure right there for Kevin Nash and I think that would be really sick to see I feel like I, I don't know about you guys but it seems like uh, it's been a while since we've gotten like a nice really sweet WCW figure so that is something that I would like to see right there is the Elite 16 Kevin Nash and then the last one that really came to my brain that you know that came off the cusp when I was thinking of this video kind of the whole inspiration behind this video is the Harley Race the flashback exclusive or Walmart exclusive flashback Walmart exclusive Harley Race figure goes for so much man 
man. It's kind of ridiculous how much this thing goes for on eBay. You try to search this thing up. It's probably one of the more rare WWE figures, probably next to the Ringside Exclusive Macho Man. You have some other figures that are up there for sure. Ringside Exclusive Bret Hart. The uh, Ringside Exclusive Kane was up there, but I think it's going to drop in price after the Decade of Dominance figure releases. Ringside Exclusive Straight Edge CM Punk, among a couple others, probably right up there with Hardy Grace. Now, it seems like this figure right here, guys, you couldn't even find the John Brown thing. You couldn't find it anywhere. Like, I, I remember, I think my friend Christian, he went on a toy hunt and it he couldn't find nothing. He was looking for the series, I think. And then he just went down a random aisle and he found the Harley Race just chilling right there on the aisle. And he ended up purchasing it, which was a grail find. I mean, how the hell, like, what are the odds of that? You're just walking down the aisle, you find one figure from the set randomly. I never even saw this set in stores. I know a lot of people never saw this set in stores. It's kind of weird how, like, we get these releases and then, like, nobody even gets them. It's either everyone just finds them everywhere like every time you go they're there or only like two people find the figures and it's kind of ridiculous so it's kind of crazy how the uh you know the inventory stock and how figures are getting out to shelves and stuff is really all over the place it seems when it comes to mattel wwe action figures and i'm not sure what the distributing is supposed to be like and all that stuff but the harley race figure was is still very very rare and i think that uh people have even talked about people that work for mattel have talked about uh re-releasing a harley Harley Race at some point, even if it's not the same figure that we will be getting a re-release of Harley Race, and uh, I know a lot of people will like to see, you know, like a like a Vader or like some other guys like that, but I think the only reason we haven't gotten re-releases of some guys is because they're no longer on deal, so... Uh, you know, figures that we would love to see re-released and to cut down on the rarity of some figures and, you know, track them down is because they're not under deals anymore and that could hurt, you know, any re-releases that we may get. And uh, I think all the people on this list that I just mentioned are on deals right now. So there's no reason why we couldn't get re-releases of these guys and uh, I would really like to see re-releases of these. If there's any re-releases that you guys would like to see, any figures out there that are super rare or you think that are really hard to find and you want to see them re-released, please let me know of those down in the comment section below. I call myself really thinking about this to the best of my ability. You know, they're not going to re-release something that's only like 20 series old. You know, they're, they're probably going to go with things that are way, way back. Like the earliest one that I have here, or not the earliest, but the latest one I have is that flashback exclusive to Walmart figure of Harley Race. But besides that, in the main elite line, I had Elite 16 Kevin Nash. And that was a very long time ago, it seems. So uh, I think that you're definitely going to have to wait on re-releases. So it can't be anything probably in the last three, four years besides maybe that flashback exclusive. But I, I don't know. Again, they didn't say they would re-release it straight up. It would probably be a variant or whatever. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy any re-releases you would like to see down in the comment section below. Please let me know. I think I got some figure news coming up for you guys in a couple days. And the Battle Royal for this month is probably coming tomorrow or the next day. So definitely stay tuned for the MDT Battle Royal for this month. Really excited to get that one going for you guys. It's going to be an epic one. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.